Okay, hello everyone. <laughs> Are you enjoying BIMCONF 24? No, 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 no. I, I can't hear you well. So, are you enjoying BIMCONF? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so let's get started. So, uh, today I'd like to share with you my presentation. The name is NeoBIM for Front End Developers, Boosting Productivity and Creativity. So, let's get started. Oh. Okay, so uh, uh, first I'd like to thank the organizers, sponsors, and of course for uh, people inviting me. And I'm really excited to be here today. And when I started using NeoBeam, I cannot imagine the, this kind of wonderful opportunity. So uh, thank you very much. I'm really excited about it. So uh, let me introduce myself first. I'm Ryo Pipi. I'm a software engineer, uh, recently mainly working on web front-end and machine learning. And I'm living in the UK. And also, I'm a member of BIMJP and a co-member of Spare Japan. Yes, so uh, I take a lot of time in BIMJP every day. Uh, I love those channels so much. Um, I'm working on some OSS projects. Those projects include like JS libraries, Vim plugins, and some other tools. So if you are interested in me, uh, please check out my GitHub portfolio. And one of the recent public projects I worked on is a landing page of BIMJP Radio. So how many of you guys listen to BIMJP Radio? Raise your hand. Oh, maybe 70%? 80%? Yeah, okay, so many people are listening to this one. So, uh, I worked with uh, Tomoya-san and Wagom-san from BIMJP, and this project is open source, so you can check out the code on GitHub. So, uh, so let's start my talk. So, let me explain my editor journey. I started coding in 2015, and my first editor was Atom. Then I moved to VS Code in 17. In 2021, I started using VS Code Neo Beam extension. Uh, this was my first Beam experience. And in 2022, I switched to Neo Beam. So I'm, new, I'm using Neo Beam for about three years in a row. As you know, VS Code is the most popular editor in the world. According to the Stack Overflow survey, 2024, VS Code is the most popular editor. So why do people use VS Code? VS Code is a GUI editor, so it's easy to use. VS Code is written in TypeScript, which means that it's good for modern web front-end development. Also, the extensions are really easy to use. So you can start the development out, out of the box. There are a lot of extensions available, and they are written in TypeScript, so library authors can share codes easily. And you don't need to pay any money to use it. So that's why VS Code is really popular, especially for web front-end developers. But there are some drawbacks of VS Code. Like, VS Code is not hackable. The coding file is JSON, so, and it's hard to write comp complex logic, and it's hard to configure setting and decline. And <laughs> VS Code is not keyboard friendly. You need to use a mouse to use it. So I tried to control VS Code operations with the keyboard, but I gave, gave it up. It's hard to create and publish extensions, right? You need to learn TypeScript and Beam, uh, VS Code API. And if you want to publish the extension, you need to register Microsoft Azure. It's really hard. So because I really wanted to customize my editor, so I gave it up to configure VS Code. So why? What the hell? I switched to NeoBeam. Well, it looks cool. That's it. So, use NeoBeam because it looks cool. That's all I want to say. So, thank you very much.
Just kidding. So, uh, <laughs> so I don't think you guys think like this, but some people think like, oh, I know Beam. Beam is a boring editor actually launched when I type git comments. No, 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 that's not true. So this is my uh, terminal screen. It's beautiful, isn't it? So why do I study to use NeoBeam actually? NeoBeam is hackable. NeoBeam is keyboard friendly. You can do everything with the keyboard. NeoBeam is easy to customize. Uh, when you use plugins, you can just write Beam scripts or lure, and it is easy to publish on GitHub. NeoBeam is terminal friendly, uh, so, so you can integrate with many CLI tools. NeoBeam is really fast and lightweight. But can we really use NeoBeam for web frontend? Because it looks hard to configure and use it. And actually, the modern web frontend development is too complicated. Uh, by the way, have you ever seen a front-end project? Look at this file structure. We have configuration file for tools. We have package JSON, log files. We have assets. We have CSS. We have, of course, JavaScript and type TypeScript. And we have markups like TSX belt or something. So that's two long files, right? So we, we need to deal with those variety of files in web front-end development. So what do you want from editors to achieve good developer experience? We need syntax highlighting. We need auto-completion. We need documentation. We need to manage lots of files. We need integrations with CLI tools. And we need to test our codes. So that's a lot, right? So. Can we do those with NeoBeam? A great man said, yes, we can do this too. So in this talk, I'd like to share with you my workflow with NeoBeam. And also, I'll break down the plugins and the features I use on NeoBeam. So I'm a little bit nervous, and this is a live demo. demo. So if my demo goes well, give me a big applause. So at first, uh, so let's set up a project. So I already set up a project like this. So this is a Svelte project, right? And next, so let's open the terminal. So I, I'm going to show you the terminal integration. So I'm using Ugatam. Ugatam is a terminal uh, plugin by Ugaroza. And this plugin enables you to open any type of terminal in NeoBeam, including floating terminal. So I can, I can launch floating terminal in NeoBeam. And then, yes, so the development uh, server launched on NeoBeam, right? So this is my first uh, introduction of, of plugin. Second, I, I'm going to talk about LSP and TreeSitter. LSP is a protocol to communicate between editors and the language server. LSP provides features like auto-completion, go-to-definition, and so on. Also, there is a tree sitter built in NeoBeam. Tree sitter is a parser generator tools and an incremental parsing library. So they are essential, essential for modern code editors. For code completion, I use uh, NeoBeam CMP. And for diagnostics, uh, I use LSP lines and this, uh, uh, I, I use LSP lines to display diagnostics as a virtual text. And also, I install some LSP libraries. So, so uh, LSP provides features like auto completion, go to definition, and so on. And Twisted provides syntax highlighting and code folding. So uh, I'm going to show you the uh, demonstration file. So this is a Svelte file. Uh, did, you, did you see that? So, uh, so you can see the script tag here and the markup tag here. As you can see, it is well syntax highlighted. And you can, you can use a definition like that 
it is powered by LSP. So you don't have to worry about uh, switching from VS Code. You can use this one. Brilliant. So, uh, and also, uh, I'm using ESDint for this project. So when I delete the semicolon like this, so there is an error happened, right? So, uh, so I'm using ESDint, so uh, you can see the error on the near beam, right? Which is really cool. Okay, next up, uh, enhance your editing files. NeoBeam has many built-in uh, text objects, uh, and this is one of the most powerful features in Beam. And this was one of the most surprising features for me when I started to use NeoBeam. Um, in addition, you can use some plugins to enhance your editing files. For example, uh, Mini surrounded by uh, Enchapasuki and NeoBeam INSX is really efficient. Also, I'm using Diode and Beam by Monakasa. Monakasa is here today. And I'm, I'm using the Diode and Beam in a daily basis. So, for example, I'm using Diode and Beam to toggle uh, symbols like const and let. This is really useful. And uh, VS Code cannot do this one. And also, uh, thanks to mini.surround, I can do like this. For example, uh, for example, let's say it's in words. So we can we can add the brackets in a single command. So this is really cool. And also, so I introduced the uh, text object. So for example, when you want to change the text in the tag, you can just type C I T and boom. You can change it. Like for example, uh, hello, hello, beamconf. Yes. So this this text changed, right? So there are really useful features, uh, ex ex exclusively on Beam. So I like them. And also we have nail test. Uh, this is a testing framework on NeoBeam. For example, uh, wait. for example, we have like uh, we have this simple function. This is this is a simple function to add two numbers, right? And also, I wrote a test file. So when you execute when you execute the test, so I use nail test, and boom, there is a nice user interface, right? When I type R. Ta-da! So the uh, test is executed, and uh, I, we can see the result on the nail beam. So this rich feature is really famous in VS Code, right? But we can do this on nail beam. So another thing I'd like to mention is the file management. So I have oil, oil dot nail beam. Oil dot nail beam is really great because uh, this is. So although NVIM is a plugin to manage files as a buffer, so you can yank, delete, and paste files like editing text. So like for example, SvelteKit is a file-based routing, so we need to create the files for new pages. Also, we often create multiple files because there are server and client files. So combining all the NVIM and the snippet library is really useful in this case. For example, when I create like about directory here, and then uh, I use snippet library. Oh, uh, yes, snippet. Oh, uh, no, uh, template. I'm using uh, Sonic template by Matsun san So then, so we can create multiple files at the same time. So I, I, don't, I don't use this one, so I, I delete it. And then, boom. Uh, so there is like about, about page. And now we can see, yeah, there is about page, right? And the uh, URL is like, there's, you can see the about path, right? So 
uh, if you if you use some file-based routing uh, framework, it is really great to integrate with OIL and snippet library. I recommend you to do that. And also, I'm using other other NVM plugin. So this is a really useful plugin because uh, we can switch related files easily. For example. So there is a like there is a server file and the client client file, right? So when I when we use other vSpeed, boom, there is like server file opened. So this is a client file, this is a server side file. So if you want to switch between uh, these files, it is very really useful. And lastly, I made some plugin to uh, debugging on browser. So this is called the Beam Svelte Inspector. So for example, uh, let's see. So there is a there is a there's a lot, uh, bunch of elements, right? And when you type some shortcut, there is an inspector uh, powered by SvelteKit. And when I click it, boom. So the code is the code is open on NeoBeam. So when, when I click other part, the cursor is moved around here. So this is really useful uh, to debug your front-end application. And that's why I, mean, I, I implemented some Git integration features using lazy Git. I don't have time to demonstrate it, so uh, please check it this code later. So, uh, conclusion. I introduced a lot of NeoBeam features and NeoBeam plugins. NeoBeam is a great editor for web front-end developers. You can see that. And NeoBeam has good plugins for web front-end development. Some of them I developed. Some of them are uh, developed by other uh, developers, and they are really awesome. So uh, if you are using VS Code and want to switch to NeoBeam, or if you're afraid of development, development uh, web front-end on NeoBeam, don't be afraid of it. I recommend you to try it. And also, there are other plugins I didn't mention in this talk. And uh, for NeoBeam DAP, I think uh, some other people um, explain, maybe hoi -san, I don't know. So uh, please, uh, please accept for, uh, please, uh, uh, please listen to it from Hoi san later. So uh, that's all for my talk. So thank you for my, uh, thank you for listening. So I hope my talk helps you a lot. And enjoy, enjoy the rest of the BIMCONF24. So thank you very much.